Here we're putting a uh, 60s, 70s Chevy C10 rear suspension in my uh, 57. There the boys just knocking the rivets out of the, the cross member where that one needs to go. We're just kind of getting it slid into place. We made marks and measurements before we took the old one out so we can make sure this one goes in the same place where the old one was. Here we're figuring out that it's not going to fit under the cab that top bump there is too tall so marked out a good pattern and where it needed to get and cut it out here we got it into position and we're just checking center with plumb bob and making sure it's where it's supposed to be tape measure and everything I really did a poor job recording for that's kind of set up the camera and we went about it drilling holes we've got it all squared away to put it in place and then now I'm just trying to <laughs> fill in the gaps here. I'm cutting out the plate for where we cut out the top of the, the cross member. And here we're welding in and then grinding up to pretty it up. So we've got the late 60s, early 70s, Chevy rear suspension. Part of the way in, the uh, front cross member up here actually fit in and just had to drill a couple extra holes to put it through all the old bolt holes. And the rear cross member that holds the track bar was the same way. I mean, these are the holes that were in the frame before. These are the holes that were in the frame before. With the track bar on it so that part was pretty easy well I don't know but it took some time we had to get rid of all the old cross members because there was a cross member here and then there was an old cross member here and then this cross member that holds the springs and the shock mounts was actually too wide I mean the back one fit another one so the older the other frame that the suspension came out of had a bump in it right here, so I had to cut the edges down to get it in there, so we still got to work on setting that, and then you got the spring mount on the bottom, which isn't quite where it's going to be yet. We're actually going to end up building something that comes out straight, otherwise the spring's going to sit at a weird angle in here, but we'll bring it out straight with the frame, and then build the spring mount on that. And might have to slide that cross member a little here or there to get the uh, spring sitting on it properly because right now you can see the hole there it might be a little far back or that hole's not lined up with that bracket like it used to be so just gonna work on that I'm gonna get the uh, springs out so I can lift the axle up to where it's actually gonna be at right height because I can't do it right now without lifting the whole back of the truck and there's no weight on it so it's sitting really high I mean the way the truck's sitting I don't know if you can see it on camera here but it's got quite a rake to it sitting on the jack stands there and if I jack the, the axle up to where the springs are hitting the frame and the rear axle height is where it would be sitting on the uh, tires it's actually raked even a little more than this which is too much so we'll probably end up getting some lowering springs to go in there to get the ride height right but for now I'm just gonna take them out and get the axle up to where it needs to be to figure out exactly where the spring mounts and everything need to be and can work on it from there also need to tighten down all these bolts that are holding the cross members and stuff in because they're all just finger tight or most all the ones up front and all but I don't know Two of the ones back here don't even have nuts on them because I ran out of nuts. Plenty of bolts, so that's where we're going.
spring mounts all pretty well trimmed up and finished up just need to do some painting and stuff still need to get the bump stops in I've got a good shot of the four inch block and spring sitting on the pad I've got the spring mount pads all tightened down got a bolt on the inside of the spring pads too also holding the uh, brake line mount she rolls sitting on her own weight got the uh, adjustable track bar in it was actually a little long for some reason it said it could be the yeah, I don't, I don't know why it's a little long, because it's supposed to fit the year's trucks the suspension came out of, and that's actually the cross member out of those year's trucks, so it fits between this frame rail right. So I don't know why it was a bit long, but cut a little bit out of it, and then welded the end sleeve back in, so it's got the axle nice and centered at this ride height. It'll be good if i got to change the ride height, because then I'll be able to you know, just adjust it and center it back up. All right, progress so far. We've got the fuel tank in between the frame rails. Had to trim about a quarter inch off the bottom here on each side so that it would slide in between and sit down. It's actually a Ford Mustang fuel tank from a late 60s, if I remember right. It's got to get some angle iron to go across here to bolt to the across here to bolt to the frame and then it bolts down through these actually it bolted up through those to the bottom of the car but it held in here got the sending unit and stuff in still need to run the wire from the sending unit from the old tank um, got the fuel line ran had some 3 8 copper so just threw that in for now I'm switching from one shift to a night shift just kind of been not getting all my parts picked up and stuff on time or whatever so I just kind of been using what I have laying around um, for now just got the old wheels that have been on it for years and years with just some random scrap tires that are going to be about the same height as those ones but I can't put those tires on it with the wheels because the bolt pattern on this axle is wrong and it's actually too wide so they'll hit the fenders these might even hit the fenders when I get the bed on but won't know until we get to that point um, I've got a 12 volt right there I plan to go in it eventually but I've got to get it all narrowed down and get the gears in it and axles the right bolt pattern brakes all kinds of stuff so that's way down on the list just trying to get it you know where it's drivable again